welcome back to Dumb's World. I'm done. If you're new here, I'm gonna give you a kiss, give you a hug, tell you welcome, you love you here, and if you're returning, welcome back, fam. So today, I'm gonna do something just a little different as far as how I film, and really just how I reply back to some of you guys' comments. Um, I do go through my comments. I try to interact with every single one of them, whether that's replying back, liking whatever it is that you said or what you asked me. But what I want to do is, is start making a video about some of you guys' responses, comments, concerns, um, questions that you may have about my IT journey or questions you may have about a certain piece that I pieced together or some clothes. I'm gonna start making a reaction video to them of me just responding, going a little bit more in depth. These videos aren't gonna be too long. It's literally and strictly just gonna be for me to go a little bit more in depth about what it is that you're inquiring about. So with that said, go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and share this video. Drop me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I noticed that this person left this comment here. Um, so. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just dive on into what I did to get the position that I currently have right now, as well as what certs I have, um, where I got them from, and I guess how long it took for me to make this transition. So we're gonna go ahead and just rewind way, way, way back to last year, okay? So last year, beginning of last year, January, I got back from Kuwait. I did a contract over in Kuwait as a material management analyst and I told myself as soon as I touch boots on ground, I am going to make it my business to get into, into some type of uh, IT program so I can get some certifications and start this whole career transition. And that is exactly what I did. So, whew. Cause this is like the fast track pace y'all. Like I really did fast track getting into IT and then getting a job and then getting a job that I have right now as well as getting the certifications. I went through ACI learning. So ACI learning is um, available to a lot of people. Um, I know for veterans, you can use vet tech as far as for them to pay for the schooling. If you're not a veteran, of course, you know, you would have to come out of pocket and if I, I'm, I may be wrong, but I think they do have payment plans, but I will go ahead and tag ACI learning um, below. That way you all can go check that out. They offer so many different um, programs that you can get into um, so that you can get certified uh, with CYSA. Uh, I think they have a pen test certification. They have Security Plus, of course, Network Plus, A Plus. Um, they also have some property management courses too. They just have a lot of things just to get your foot in the door. And the good thing about this program, right, is that they give you the training, um, <clears throat> get you prepared for the test, but they also have job placement, right? They will make sure that you get a job. Now, it ain't gonna be no such figure job, but it's something, right? So that you can work your way up. So yeah so that is how i got my certifications is i went through aci learning and i also it was it's basically like a veteran program that i seen maybe on linkedin or facebook because like i told y'all in my previous videos i always keep my eyes open right i'm always looking into you know different things on different other on other social platforms outside of you know instagram and youtube so you know facebook LinkedIn, they offer so many bit different things in which crazy enough, I just found one where, uh, and I'll just have that tag below. Actually, I'm gonna have it right here. I'm gonna have a screenshot of it right here. That way you guys can go look up this guy. And if you are interested and wanna get into cybersecurity and actually learn something, learn the skills and not just get certified, you might wanna tap in. So I seen this post yesterday on LinkedIn and instantly I was just like, wow, like this is good money. Like this is, I don't know how much the tuition is for sure. Um, but six months to be able to learn all these different skills that's outlined in this, in this long paragraph as well as job placement. And it's not going to be no rinky dink job. Neither it's going to actually be some job paying some ends. 
might want to take advantage of this. So I need to actually go ahead and reach out myself to figure out what all this entails. That way I can, you know, know, cause I'm, I'm interested too. I just haven't tapped into it. Like I said, I just seen this yesterday for the first time, but you guys can tap in, you know what I'm saying? And if you just so happen to reach out to this individual before I do shoot, let me know what they said. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you found out about it. Okay. And so I got a little bit off subject, but so I did go through ACI and then from ACI, like I told y'all did the whole job placement, my job placement and the position that I went on ahead and went with was tech systems, tech systems, application support. So I worked there from June, either June, July, I want to say I got hired on in June, but I didn't start till July. It was like a long process with my background check, long story, but I started, I got the job in July, didn't start till July. I got the job in June, but I didn't start until July. And then I seen this position that I currently have um, available in which actually I think the recruiter reached out to me. So the recruiter that reached out to me, I've been in contact with her previously about other jobs. But I think it was just kind of like maybe just like a kind of like a disconnect just because I already had a job and you know I was on night shift and then when she did reach out to me when I was working my last job I was sleep because you know I was sleep during the day so it was just really like we were missing each other so one day it was just like a perfect aligning I didn't have to work I wasn't tired and I was able to answer her phone call and it was about this job so <clears throat> Now I have a work from home job. I sat in an interview with four different individuals. One of them was the manager, hiring manager. And then the other three were leads, tier two leads and tier 1.5 leads. So they all love me. They all like me, which I was really proud of myself because I absolutely suck at interviews y'all, but I knocked that one out the park. All right. That was so corny. But anywho, um, I did really good. I found out within a matter of the next day and I was kind of going back and forth because I had a good thing with tech systems. I got paid weekly, right? So I was just like, Ugh, I don't know if I want to let that go. But this was, this to me seems convenient, you know, of course, because of all the other things that I outlined in my previous video about, you know, being productive while having a work from home job. But two, I don't have to leave my house, y'all. And, you know, the less maneuvering around I have to do as far as leaving my house, the less I have to stress about things that need to be done here physically in this house. So it made sense to me to go ahead and take on this position. Plus, it pays more. So why not? It, it pays more. I don't have to leave my house and I can be here with my family. Sign me up, please. So that's how I got this position. Now, with that being said, what I had to have to get this position was just the simple things. Um, security plus active security clearance, uh, secret clearance. And I do have ITIL, uh, certification, but that really didn't make a break, you know, me getting this job, but for sure having that clearance and having security plus those two for sure. Um, but yeah, so, and now we're here. Now, in reference to the post from LinkedIn, I am definitely going to look into it, y'all, because it seems pretty cool. Now, I just don't know how I will finagle that along with having this job because that this the, the program is a full time ordeal. It ain't no half a day thing, right? So I will probably have to pick or choose which one. But after I get some more information about it, and see which one makes more sense. I'll probably just make my decision off of that. But yeah, y'all, y'all should definitely go check it out. 23 weeks, 21 or 23 weeks, I think the program is. And they literally teaching you all of the basic skills that they, a lot of these companies expect for people to know when it comes to them stepping off into cybersecurity roles. I would take advantage of y'all. I would definitely take advantage of it. Now, this does seem like something that is for veterans and people that are active duty. So if you are not either one of those, I do not know, but you can still go ahead and reach out to whomever this person is to find out. Okay. I don't know. I have no idea. Right. Like I said, I just seen this 
yesterday and I'm just passing this on along to y'all because I know that I have a lot of individuals that are subscribed to my channel that watch me that are interested in IT and cybersecurity. So, hey, have at it. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully I answered all of your questions. I think I did. I think I hit all the key points as far as what certifications I got or what I had to have. Um, how did I get into it and how I got this job. So I think I, I think I covered all those key points. Like I said, this is not going to be a long video. Just wanted to go a little bit more in depth about what I did, how I went about doing it and how I got here right now with a work from home job. With that said, y'all go ahead and like this video, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If there's any other questions you may have when it comes to my IT journey or I don't know, anything. You can drop it in the comments and I will definitely make another video and go in more depth about it just to give you a little bit more insight just so you can understand. And also too, there's other people that may have similar questions as you. So I like to get a little bit more personal, make a video strictly just for you, just so that you see that I'm paying attention and I hear you and I see you as well as other individuals who may be interested in wondering the same goddamn thing. So, so with that said, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, peace.